Good morning, everybody. My name is Daniel Pello, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. Starting out this Wednesday morning in the fourth week of Lent with a scripture reading from Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7 through 8. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace that he lavished on us. And now for our excerpt from Peacework, page 103. Forgiveness is the great divine gift offered to us by Jesus. It is not a human possibility to forgive sins. Who can forgive sins but God alone? Jesus' critics rightly ask. Wherever Jesus goes, he offers this divine forgiveness. He even offers it to those who kill him. It is for the forgiveness of sins that he pours out his blood on the cross and that he sends forth his disciples into the world. And now for a reading by Henry Nouwen from Steadfast Love. What an extraordinary extravagant gift it is a gift that cannot be given apart from Christ. For God alone can forgive sins. Only Jesus Christ, true God and true man, could redeem us from our slavery to sin by the shedding of his blood which he poured out for us and all humanity on the cross. Having been washed in forgiveness through our baptism into Christ, our Lord sends us forth each day into our love-starved world. He empowers us to share his lavish love and forgiveness, not only with our friends and fellow believers, but even with those who have been hurtful or hateful to us. That can be as hard as nails. But if Jesus could forgive those who nailed him to the cross, we can, by God's grace, forgive others as God has forgiven us, unconditionally, with no strings attached. That's our reading today by Henry Nouwen. And if you will, please join me now for a time together in prayer. Let us now pray together. Forgiving Lord, enable us, by your grace, to forgive others as lavishly as you have forgiven us. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Have to see you here tomorrow at 8 a.m. Hope you all have a great Wednesday today.